What is up, Highway 83 YouTubers? We got Tommy, we got Tony. We're working on a Suzuki Samurai today. We are gonna be pulling the dashboard out of an 86 through 88 round bent Suzuki Samurai, as you can see here. You might have watched our windshield frame fold it down, pull out the wiper motor video, and I promised you you would get the dashboard video, and that's gonna happen today. So first thing I like to do, other than taking a sip off my Miller High Life, get myself psyched up as I take my hat and what I do is I I turn it around like this you see what I'm saying and it's like a switch goes on and that means I'm ready to work I'm focused I'm like a I'm like a truck ha! I'm ready to slam some arms baby let me get my tools and let's tear this truck apart ah! first we're gonna remove the steering wheel we're gonna pull this off there's gonna be three little push pins that go into these holes. We're done with that. 17 millimeter. I'm gonna rip it right off with my impact gun. Well, bam, she's off. Now, a lot of steering wheels, you can just muscle and she's gonna come off. Ugh, some are tough, we got her off. So let's say it didn't come off. I wanna show you a little trick. You got your nut on here. If you don't have a steering wheel puller, I just made a piece of metal with two holes in it and took two, two screws before and tightened these screws and it's going to push against that 17 millimeter nut and pop the steering wheel off like that. So if you can't get the wheel off and you don't want to damage it by pounding on the backside because it is plastic all around here, making a homemade little uh, pusher puller, that will get it done for you. So we're gonna toss our wheel to the side now we got the steering column shroud. As you can see, it's loose because I already pulled a bunch of bolts out of it because I want this video to go quick because sometimes I start rambling, I was told. <laughs> so there's a bunch of Phillips heads in here. You got to find them all. There's going to be one in each one of these holes. Where is this little bugger? Okay, got it. So there's going to be a bunch of Phillips head screws. As you can see, there's going to be a screw in every single one of these holes. So if this does not come off, keep looking for more screws. It happens all the time. You forget about them. You don't get them all off. So now we got the column cover, the bottom half off. The top half won't come off for a little bit because there's no room, as you can see. It won't, it won't budge. But while we're here, we're going to go down to this under dash panel, which a lot of you guys are missing and want to buy from us. Sometimes we have them. Sometimes we don't. They sell quick. But there's going to be screws here, here, here. These tabs tuck under, so I'm going to take out just one screw to show you how she goes, baby. And I wish I had my impact gun. I'd be going quicker right now, but we're almost out. Okay. So now we got our dash panel out. If you're missing this, contact us. We'll try and help you get a new one. Can you dig it? Yep, yep. All right, so now we got this all lowered out while we're here. If you have a radio box, you might have bought one from us. They just pull out. You got your four tabs here, and they slide into the bottom of the mounting bracket. If you have your Phillips head tip right here, there'll be a Phillips head screw from here to the bottom bracket. So if you have that, don't forget to take that out. And if you have a radio in there, you're going to have wires, your wires and such. So this one didn't have a radio. So now your radio box is out. Now we're going to take a break. And I will be right back. <coughs> Quick sip from a fresh high life. And I whip out my Torx bit on y'all. Check that out on the camera. That's a Torx bit. Big old star shape. You're going to need it. I believe it's a T40 if my Aldeaned USA tool is correct. Now we're going to get up underneath there. We're going to loosen up the steering column. Let me know when you're on there. You can see that. We're taking out this one up here. There's gonna be one on each side of the steering column. So we're gonna pop out both of these, which is gonna loosen up the column and drop it about an inch or so. See this play we got now? So if you were just trying to replace your steering column shroud, you can push this down and, and wiggle it out. But we're, we're gonna create some space to lift the dashboard out. So that's why we want this loose. And now, uh, since we're here, we're gonna pull out the face plate here. You're gonna have four of these black plastic knobs. These just pull off by hand. We're gonna have that 
Now all your, you got your four levers, you're gonna take a flathead or a hook of some sort and gently pull on each side of the face plate. So now the face plate is loose. Oh, she's being a little stubborn on us. Okay, you wanna be careful to not scratch or damage your plastic face plate. And then in the back, there's a little, a little light bulb that I twisted to the left a quarter turn and popped that out. Now behind there, you're gonna see two Phillips head screws. So we got both of our Phillips heads. Both Phillips heads loose. Now your heater control assembly is loose. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, you saw that the windshield frame I had lowered last time. We're gonna just lower that down so it's out of the way and get the video a little more accessible to the viewers, you know, so you guys can see what's going on here. So now we're gonna talk about the top side of the dashboard with these little covers. There's three of them. The one on the passenger side's extra long. I like to take a little razor blade and scoop and flick. Now if the dashboard or the glass is there, it's just gonna hit there. So you're just gonna scoop and flick. Flick. And now you got them all out and there's gonna be Phillips heads. Phillips heads underneath there. Let me switch to my number three Phillips head bit. And these are real loose. You can get them with just a screwdriver. These are never very tight. So you're gonna get these. And then on the passenger side, you're gonna have this one. This one doesn't flick. You're not gonna have any screws under there. That's where the windshield wiper motor was that we showed you in the other video. So now we are going to take, oh, is there? Oh, we do have a screw there. Yep, we got one more screw there. And then this is where you'd be able to see the windshield wiper bolts. So we are going to take a quick break and then we are going to get the rest of this dashboard out of here. All right, guys, we are back. We got all three of our top plastic covers off and the three Phillips head screws out of there. We got them gone. So now we're gonna, obviously you're probably not gonna fold down your windshield, but you can but you're gonna have these metal brackets which attach to the windshield as you saw in our previous video. So there's gonna be the two screws, one here, one there. Take those out on each side of the dashboard. Now what I did not show earlier was I unhooked the, the hood release cable from underneath the hood. So I did not show that. I will probably get into that into another video because we're gonna to need to loosen up the hood cable and there's a plat, I'll show it when the, when the dash is out. There's a plastic nut on the back side, you'll, you know, where you release your hood in the old glove box here. On the other side of that, there's a plastic nut that you can just unscrew with your hand. You gotta come from underneath and ah, yeah, fidget it out of there. So you gotta loosen that up so you got play in your, uh, in your cable. Cause if you get, if you ever try to remove your dash and it was real stubborn right here, it's because that, that uh, hood release cable is pinned in there and it will not, it, you will not get the dashboard out with that in there. So that is the key to the passenger side. Now our lovely camera woman's gonna walk around to the other side of the vehicle and we are going to show you removing the screws underneath here and the passenger side to free up the other, the other stuff going on in here. So we have a screw here, which I already loosened up. Then we've got another screw over here sucker going so we got these screws out screw here screw here and the one I always forget is back in the ashtray I removed it already but it's from the ashtray plate to the metal bracketry back here so we got that one out now there's another bolt underneath here a 12 millimeter a gold one this one attaches to the, the oh shit handle the grab bar here so now we really got things loosened up. So now, now this is where you got to have that cable loose. So now you can see how much play I got. We're about to rip her out of here. We're about to tear her out of here. We're going to take a break. I'm going to jump back to this side and show you unhooking the speedometer cable and freeing up all the, the wiring. And we're on the home stretch. All right, we're back on the driver's side of the vehicle obviously a little bit easier without the windshield frame there so if you got to fold it down go ahead it's only going to make it more accessible so now we have the speedometer cable which sim simply pushes into the back of the cluster you're going to want to be careful with it but you're going to want to jimmy it around a little bit and pop her out see that 
It's just got some little metal tabs that push into the back of the cluster. Now you can start pulling back. If you want to clear up some space, you can pull out your, your heating tubes, toss them out to the side. This one's got some rat shit, a little something action in there. You're going to have your, now you're going to get down to your wiring. So you can just start popping wires out and uh, pulling all your gauge cluster wires. You're really starting to get things freed up. There's going to be little metal tabs wrapped around the wiring harness and the loom going in the back. So you're just going to keep following this wiring harness, going down along it, and when you get to a metal, a metal uh, fold-over tab, you're just going to untwirl it so the wiring gets loose. Now everything's fairly loose here. We are going to jump back to the passenger side. Hey, we're on the final process of tearing this dashboard out of the sammy so i've got the uh hood release cable here i'm going to show you in a minute the little piece i was talking about this if you've ever tried to take a samurai dash out and couldn't get it that's what's holding you up i've taken these uh heating ducts out there was a rat shitting and pissing all over in there don't like it my hands they're filthy but it's all part of working on an old 35 year old samurai. This had a JX clock in it, so we had a plug in here. Like I said, I've been working my hand, getting covered in rat piss, working my hand up and down. Nope, oh, here was the clock, the clock uh, plug in. I've been working my hand down all the harness. All the harness is free. I got all of the harness free from the dash. I'm pretty sure we're just ready to lift out. Yep, we are, we got the dash. Ah, sweet joy, baby. Look at this puppy here. That's the bread and butter. This is what you were working so hard to get out. So now you got your dashboard. The whole shebang is out. Now, if you're a tin top guy, you can replace. If you're a tin top guy and you're trying to replace the wiper motor, you can basically, you don't have to do everything I showed to do whatever you're trying to accomplish. You can just loosen up some of the stuff that I showed you, pull the dashboard far enough away, get to your wiper motor, or get to your column cover here and you don't have to do everything I did in the same process either. You can do it in whatever steps you want to. These are just how I did it for the video. So you got all your wiring here. You can disconnect it here to there. Now we had this, there was a little plastic piece. Oh, I got it in my pocket here. So this is what happens. This is what you're doing behind the dashboard. That's unless you've not, unless you've done it before, you don't know what the hell you're looking for. So behind the dashboard in the back of the glove box, this plastic nut threads into here. So this holds the glove box tight to the firewall. There's a metal bracket. Come in here and show this metal bracket. So this sandwiches in between here and there, and that's why you can't move anything. So I was reaching back here and working this plastic nut with my fingers right here. That's what I was up and under there doing. So that's critical. These are not very tight. As long as you can get it with your hand, you spin it off and then you can pull your cable through and this is the other end that hooks to your hood latch it's a simple uh, cable and barrel pull that out then you can pull this out with it now you've got your dashboard out so you can accomplish whatever task it may be that you were trying to do either switching dashboards completely fixing your wiring harness who the hell knows it's not the most fun project but it as far as dashboard removal, the Suzuki Samurai is the easiest vehicle to remove one in. If you get to the Geo Trackers, as they get older and older, airbags, all that stuff, more wires, more bolts, more problems. So the Samurai is pretty easy. Just make sure you're looking out for rat piss. So we'll add some extra videos to the side here. Some of our uh, classic videos and new videos and subscribe button. Check it all out. I hope you've been enjoying the Highway 83 YouTube channel. As always, we're drinking Miller High Life, playing with Suzuki Samurais, and yelling, ah, yeah. See you on the next one, guys.